All right, guys. All right. Now, before we slice into this video, I thought we could go around the room and just say what we're thankful for. I'll start. I'm thankful for all of us being able to gather here every single Thursday. Uh, Grandpa, why don't you go next? I'm thankful to be here with all my cherished loved ones. Wow, that's really lovely. Uh, Uncle Joe, how about you? I'm thankful for all this grub and even more thankful for the nap I'm about to take in two hours. <laughs> uh, classic Uncle Joe. Uh, little Timmy, would you like to go next? Uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. We're all thankful for something. Why don't you go ahead? Oh, all right. I'm thankful for football and that I get to watch it with my family. And that for the rest of the weekend, my entire mood will depend on the outcome of a single game. If they win, this could be the best Thanksgiving we've ever had. If they lose, well, I'll break the TV and feed into the miserable existence that is being an overly dedicated sports fan. And I learned that by watching all of you, my role models. <coughs> Who's next? Happy three take Thanksgiving. Big 12 title spots are up for grabs. There is a cornucopia of scenarios of different teams that can grab a spot in Arlington. One of those is Arizona State. They're looking for their first pilgrimage to a Big 12 championship in their first season in the conference. Cam Scadaboo has been stuffing the stat sheet all season long. His 1,221 rushing yards has him fourth best in the Big 12. I think he'll have a big day against rival Arizona. The Sun Devils have been on a roll and that continues on Saturday. Did someone say corn? No. Farmageddon is on Saturday as Iowa State hosts Kansas State. There are five schools matched together in the college football playoff rankings. The Cyclones and the Wildcats are two of those with K-State at 24, Iowa State at 18. Will one of those two teams be at the Big 12 championship table? I think yes, and it will be the Cyclones meeting up with the Sun Devils. It was smooth like butter for most of the season for Iowa State, but back-to-back -back losses to Texas Tech and Kansas had their title hopes in jeopardy. But I can tell you what Matt Campbell is thankful for this year. Losses by Colorado and BYU. I think they'll beat Kansas State in a one possession game. It is senior day for the Red Raiders as they host West Virginia on Saturday, which means it's the final home game for Taj Brooks. He already broke the career rushing record two games ago, so the numbers he puts up the rest of the season, well, it's all gravy. However, West Virginia's defensive weakness is their pass defense. I think Baron Morton will put up some really good numbers. <laughs> excuse me, gobbling up at least three passing touchdowns for a fifth time this season, and I think the Red Raiders win a tight one, 38-35. to 35. Enjoy the Thanksgiving weekend. Remember, carbs don't count on holidays. We'll see you next week.